Hi, welcome to Kenneth Spader Christmas. I hope your holiday was joyous, relaxing, and festive. Uh, my mother passed away the day after Christmas, and my wife went into the hospital two days after that. She came home New Year's Eve, and we rang in the New Year by sleeping through it. Whew! Good times. Plus, it was like 20 degrees outside, and I have no heater in my palatial studio here. Um, so it's been a little dicey here the last couple of weeks. I apologize for the lack of videos this, this so far this year, but I think we can start to get back on track. I get a request to do some sort of consulting for this hobby about once a month or so. Uh, you know, would you be able to get on a call or some sort of virtual presence session uh, to troubleshoot my display or to brainstorm about ideas for my display? Um, the short answer is no. Look, I, I would love to be able to do that, but I just can't devote the time to that right now. Um, I'm doing this video to hopefully help you understand why I can't do that without sounding like an uncaring jerk and to give you resources to get your questions answered. Compared to going to the store and buying some lights, computerized lighting displays have a fairly steep learning curve. Now, some of you I know, you'll see something, you'll get it, you'll run with it, no problem. Others will be kicking and screaming all the way to Christmas. The teaching videos that I do are geared toward the basics of getting all this stuff working. You know, what's the minimum equipment that I need uh, to get started, what software do I need, uh, how do I get pixels, that kind of stuff. Just some basic information about how all this stuff kind of fits together. As I learn new things, I will put them in videos to help you along your journey. Uh, and I've done a lot of that already for the, the basic stuff. So if you have it already, check out the beginner RGB pixels playlist that I have. So it's geared toward somebody starting from zero. Um, it's only about five videos, um, but it does cover all of the basic stuff. As with anything technology related, uh, information can become dated or irrelevant. So I will keep that playlist updated so that it remains current. Uh, realistically, you should watch all of my videos because quite frankly, they're awesome and uh, quite entertaining if I do say so myself. I get a lot of questions submitted through the comment section of the videos themselves. And realistically, that's my preferred method of communication. Um, I usually see those quicker. I can respond to them quicker. And since everybody can see them, if somebody else has the same question, the, it's, it's already answered there for them. Now, my issue is that if you ask me a question, you probably want an answer. And if life events happen like they have in the last couple of weeks, it may be a while before I can get back to you. And I don't want you to have to wait for the answer. You can ask the same people that taught me this stuff. Uh, that you probably get a better answer and you will get the answer faster. So for general information and troubleshooting assistance, use the forums, use the Facebook groups that I have listed in the descriptions of most of the videos. Um, I really want you to get the information that you need as quickly and accurately as possible. If you have questions like, what should I do? Here's a picture of my house. How would you decorate it? Realistically, um, pixels look best in a straight line. So uh, verticals and horizontals are the best place to start. Um, you know, door and window outlines, uh, corner how, you know, corners of the house, um, uh, roof lines, if you can get to them. Um, but other than that, I'm probably not the best person to ask. There is an x -Lights Zoom meeting on Wednesday nights that was actually a, a great place to ask those questions. Just go to xlights.org and look for the Zoom meeting button. There's several nice and very knowledgeable uh, people on that call. They've been doing this stuff for years and they can really help you out in that area. It's instant, interactive information, a very good resource. I attend when I can.
Now, am I telling you not to submit questions? Heck no. Um, especially if you've seen something in a video that I didn't cover well enough, I'd be happy to answer uh, those questions. Uh, if I don't know something, I will tell you, and I will try and point you in a direction that you can get the answer. Usually it's going to be the forums and Facebook groups. I don't know everything. I'm just a little bit ahead of some of you. So after all that, if you still feel the desire to send me an email, check the about tab on my channel. Um, I make no service level agreement on emails because generally emails will require a lot of thought in the response. And if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know what a chore that can be. So not trying to be a jerk about this, just trying to set some expectations for the new year. I really want you to get the information you're looking for as quickly and as accurately as possible. Recent events have shown that I may not be available at all times, but I think the life events are starting to calm down a bit and I can start publishing videos again regularly. I hope you understand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.